Welcome now to a presentation of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated this Sunday morning for those who are unable to actively participate. Today's Mass is sponsored by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with 6 News WOWT. The Sarah Club of Omaha thanks the following sponsors for their generous support in presenting the Mass for shut-ins. The Sarah Club of Omaha also thanks those individual donors that make this program possible. Good morning. We are pleased to share with you the Mass of the Roman Catholic Faith. We especially invite you who are homebound or hospitalized to join in spirit all the faithful worshiping today. Our presiding celebrant is Father Zach Eishide from St. Margaret Mary Parish in Omaha. He is assisted by our lectors, Sarens Kevin Cooper and John McCandless. Our musicians are from St. Wenceslas Catholic Church, Oliver Coutant, Matthew Capon, and Matthew Reinig. They are accompanied by Luke Irvin. <clears throat> and I'm your commentator, Sophia Cook. In today's gospel, Jesus reminds us that to grow and persevere in faith, we are to trust him and spread the good news of God, our Father. We pray that our Lord will increase our faith, praise him for our blessings, and not lose heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Brethren, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the Spirit of Wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold, in view of her, is a little sand, and before her, silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her company, and countless riches at her hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm this morning <clears throat> is, Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us, us with, with your, your love, love, O Lord, and, and we will sing for joy. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. 
Fill us, O love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Make us glad for the days when you afflicted us, for the years when we saw evil. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, indeed the word of God is living and effective sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is canceled from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him, to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. My dad was the one who introduced me to the love of baseball, the joy and the fun that it had, you know, from that ding of the bat hitting the ball or that smell of the glove with the sweat and the dirt, all these great, beautiful sights and sounds and smells. He showed me the love of the game. You know, I played third base. And so getting that fast grounder and whipping it over to first, having that joy and that excitement of following the rules, following what the game is supposed to be. But dad, my dad, isn't separate from the rules. Having him teach me them, he showed me his love for them. Any good teacher shows the love of those rules. Like I could learn anything about b baseball. I could read the rules, I could know everything about it. But to have that teacher makes me share in his love of it. It goes with the same way in our faith. Anybody can follow the Ten Commandments. A Christian, a Catholic, a Buddhist, an atheist, anybody can do that. 
But what makes us different? It's a relationship. I love how in this gospel, it says Jesus looking at this young man loved him. He loved him first. The young man wanted to follow, but didn't want the relationship. How often do we kind of treat God as almost like a business interaction? Go to confession, say our sins, and then we're free. We'll get eternal life then. You know, go to mass, get the job done. Maybe God will help us. If we say the right prayers, then God will give us what we want. Where's the relationship in that? Jesus looks at us with love. He doesn't want a business interaction. He wants a relationship. Let him look at you with love. And now we offer up our prayers and petitions to our Father in heaven. For the church, that it may continue to proclaim the message and love of Christ to the world and clarity, with clarity and conviction, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That world leaders will work to bring justice and peace to the poor and oppressed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For a growth in reverence for the gift and mystery of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our nation's military, may they know the love of God in their everyday duties and know how thankful we are for their service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering, that they experience the healing power of Christ's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for the needs of this community, our sponsors and supporters, and for you, our viewers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, you look upon us with love. May we stay in your gaze as we lift up these prayers to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your support of Mass for the Shut-Ins. Since 1964, your prayers and generosity have helped the Sarah Club of Omaha bring the Mass to so many. We continue to pray for first responders and caregivers and for the health and safety of all priests and those in consecrated life. The Sarah Club of Omaha thanks you again as we continue on our mission to support and pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated religious life with the spiritual intercession of our patron, St. Junipero Serra. The Liturgy of the Eucharist now begins. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. The praise and glory of his name, our good, the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As gift, so far surpassing hope or thought, sweet sacrament with me. love thee more and more. Oh, make us love thee more and more. Had I but Mary's sinless heart to love thee Jesus would I sing sweet sacrament with thee adore oh make us love thee more and more oh make us love Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as, we feed, as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us shares in, of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join us as we recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. 
O God, who wills not the death of a sinner, but rather that he be converted and live, grant, we beseech you, through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Saint Joseph, her spouse, Saint Junipero, Sarah, and all the saints, an increase of laborers for your church, fellow laborers with Christ, to spend and consume themselves for souls, through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We thank you for joining us today in this great prayer of Jesus. It is a prayer that unites the people throughout the world. We invite you to recite the Sarah Prayerful Vacations. If you would like a prayer card or would like to make a donation to the Mass for shut-ins, please contact us at the Sarah Club of Omaha, care of the Archdiocese of Omaha Chancery. Thank you for being with us this morning. Please join us again next Sunday at 1030 for the Mass for the shut-ins. Good morning. I'm Omaha Archbishop George Lucas. The Sarah Club of Omaha, in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha, began airing the Mass for shut-ins in 1964. Each week, the Mass is viewed by thousands in Nebraska and Iowa on WOWT and is also seen online by many others worldwide. Please know we are praying for you as you watch in your home or in other places, including retirement centers and in hospitals. We are indebted to our supporting sponsors, to so many parishes, and to you who for years have remembered the Mass with your prayers and gifts. We ask you for your continued support in order to serve all of our viewers. Thank you for your generous assistance, and may God bless you and your family. You've been watching the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, brought to you as a public service by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with 6 News WOWT. We hope you'll join us again next Sunday for the Mass for Shut-Ins.